What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Regal Mystery Movie Monday. Before I get started, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're in anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. All right, like I said, my local Regal has their Mystery Movie Monday thing going on again. For those that have been checking, yes, I have missed the last two. One of them was a PG movie that started earlier and scheduling couldn't really allow it. The second one, I'm just going to be honest with everyone, got a lot of the stuff going on, wasn't able to get there. But I am here today. I have no idea what's playing. I have no clue what it could be. And the Regal app and the Regal website gave me two different time frames on the length of the movie. So, yeah, they are definitely keeping this one under wraps. So I'm going to go in here, see what it is, and come back, reveal the movie, and give you my thoughts. All right, mystery revealed. It was Gran Turismo. I have to say, trailers looked all right, but this was not something on my radar. I was wrong. This movie was really good. And I clearly underestimated the hype behind this movie because when it was revealed that the mystery movie was Gran Turismo, the people in the theater we're already getting excited. So, pros, movie was great. Solid cast, had very good stuff regarding the, sorry, I'm trying to get into a good area where there's some better lighting. Okay, there we go. Solid cast. You've got Based on a true story, you've got connections to the actual Gran Turismo franchise. And this movie had a lot of heart in it. And one of the other things I thought was pretty cool was the racer the movie's based on actually was the stunt double for the actor playing him. That was pretty cool. As far as cons go, there really aren't that many. Like, Super Mario might have some competition this year for being one of the best video game movies because this one is up there. So, overall, greatly enjoyed it. Only real con was there's a couple of scenes where could have probably been a little bit faster. I know that's weird saying that for a racing game, but you had a couple of slow scenes. But other than that, don't really have any other complaints on that part. So shout out to, I cannot believe I am saying this, but shout out to my local Regal. This is a step up from some of the previous movies that have been the mystery movie. So, August 11th is the official release date for Gran Turismo. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. I don't really have anything else. Like, every character you see, you're given reason to care about them. You've got little subtle easter eggs here and there for PlayStation as a whole. And if this is something that PlayStation wants to get behind and Sony wants to get behind as far as like doing more movies based off of their IP, I personally may have not liked Uncharted, but others did. This movie is definitely a step in the right direction regardless of whether you did or didn't like Uncharted. Final score, four and a half out of five. And as always, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are looking forward to seeing Gran Turismo. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.